Guys, we still continue with Reflections KKG and welcome back to Young and Proud Educators where we speak everything, everything education. We leave no stone untouched or untamed. We turning stones from left to right, bottom left, corner, center, north to south. <laughs> yeah, sorry, 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 guys. Okay, so in this video, guys, I'm going to speak about learning from people, getting to understand the people. So this is what I, I, I learned. So I was in grade five, class five, year five. So I was, in, I was in that group and we had three classes. We had three classes. Um, it was myself and two ladies, which we're still friends even today in 2020. Super exciting people, super happy people with genuine smile, people that want the best out of you, people that that will tell you that you know what I struggle with this and please show me that people were honest, honest people ever. So I learned from those. I was working with those people. I learned from those from them, and I continue learning from them. Um, they would encourage me about the finances, like everybody speaks about finances. And um, I think one of the ladies introduced me to Muho Disan, Stockfell. You learn about people and how they manage their monies and how they want to see um, the good out of you and you doing great. So I worked with those two ladies and, and I started learning about the people and what kind, kind of people are and, and how you can go about working with the people, understanding the people. So that's what I did. And man, it was amazing, it was inspiring, it was a challenge, it was fascinating. And for this video, I wouldn't speak about people's lives. If I, if I had um, the authority to do so, I would. But I'll just stick to myself, because this is me encouraging the future and aspiring young educators and, and just to give them a broad understanding that you know what this is what might happen this will happen so in 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 with, with that said we i worked with those guys and now in 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 a public school i think in most schools let me not say public school in most schools in most companies and almost everywhere you you're going to have people in in groups like there's this group here they come together, they believe in whatever, in whatever, but in, in a school setting, in a school context, people come together and work together because they are teaching in grade um, 5, they teach in grade 6, they teach in grade 7, therefore they, they automatically gel and, and become, I don't know, friends, so that what happens. And some people come from maybe grade 5, join, I mean grade 6, joining grade 5, so grade whatever, because of of what they do. They might be going to the same church, they might be using the same scoff, coming to school, scoff, lift, um, they're in the same lift club. They, they have um, common things. Or they are in the same um, society, school class. That's one of the reasons why people come together because they, they have common things and they know each other from a certain part of the world to, to the new part, which is the school part. So you learn that, you know, in each group, the people have their own things. And you'll find that in this group, doesn't like the other group. And that group doesn't like the other group. So what was quite of a huge challenge was the group that I was with, it had um, people who were married. All of them were married. All of them were, were, were very um, supportive people, um, committed people. And as such, they, they would encourage, they, they were always encouraging me to get married. And I told them, hey, I'm so young, my mom doesn't have a house, I need to do that. I cannot just wake up and get married. I need to put things in place before I get there. But don't worry, once I get married, I will invite you to my wedding. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't invite them. But that's another story for another day. Let's leave that. So, you learn that that group speaks about the other group. And sometimes they do not speak good about their group. And, and you will realize that there are tension, tensions in the meetings, like staff meetings, when a person from the other group suggests 
um, one person from the group will, will counter or will suggest something similar but slightly different to it and and you start seeing that it's like oh fuck man that's bullshit how can we not stick together how can we not work together i know we people i know we're different but hey we need to be together remember if we have a common goal we should be understanding each other we should be working together so we can reach that goal if not the chances of us reaching that goal tiny tiny close to impossible so yeah that was the relationships and and people some people attack you like fearlessly so and directly so attacking you i remember one time hey i remember one time i took um ketelem for boiling water i used it for my science we're doing a science project and and in the foundation phase in an infant phase their break starts at nine i was starting at 9 30 and i was still using the kettle and one lady needed to use the kettle for for the year and and she went she didn't find it she asked she was told that i took it and and that lady was in the, the other group and automatically since i was in grade five i was in the other group which was good i enjoyed and and enjoyed the food they ate a lot <laughs> so i enjoyed so she came guns blazing shouting screaming this is not yours you cannot take it to your um, class these are not the rules i'm like fuck what is this shit what did they do to you just speak to me soft man i'm, I'm my child yeah i mean let's born of this school <laughs> show show some care oh so so that was that but then later i realized she's not saying this because it's me she's saying this because i automatically fell into the other group i belong into the other group therefore i am the enemy so so reflection picture is i would say to young proud aspiring the guys who starting working wherever just know that wherever you go um know that you go to that school to contribute to make a change in that school and and as such the tiny quarrels that school um, the tiny whatever whatever that's happening between the teachers they, they, they have nothing to do with you you focus and you continue doing what you need to do if you said you wanted to start something you started and you continue doing it and and to all the teachers maybe young or old you've been in the system for forever or for how long i would say i would say it is quite 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 important to to understand other people that you're working with their thinking understand their backgrounds where they're coming from understand them so once you're done with doing that you will then be able to work with them when when they when you are in a conversation with those guys and they 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 speaking from whatever um departed that they depart departing from then you can understand them and, and be part of not not feel like you're being attacked so it's quite good for for collaboration it's quite good for working together it's quite good for moving with the aim and the mandate and the mission and the vision of the school um, to another level it's quite good for your growth as well so if you go in there to belong to squad to that tiny group it will work against you you might not see the growth that you'd like to see you might not move to the new school that you'd like to move you might not get the new position that you might you you, you are wishing aspiring to be in that position you might because it's just a massive delay in your life it's a big 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 delay i, I wouldn't even encourage anybody to belong to a group but remember we as a people we need each other we are um we thrive under and under um, interactions when we interact with other people that's when we start thriving but if we do not 
then make sure that you prioritize it properly and you think about yourself and where you want to place yourself and where you want to see yourself. Because this is about you, it's not about them. And this is about what, you, what change you want to bring into the school. So guys, let's just cut it here short. I don't want these videos to be 10 minutes long. I mean, I want them to be short. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And we're going to speak about, we're going to speak about, this one's a surprise. We're going to speak about, this one is a surprise. We're going to speak about, this one is a surprise.